Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 28 in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to use the formatting options to bold, italicize, and underline your text or numbers within your Excel spreadsheet. The advantages of doing this would be that using formatting options to bold, italicize, and underline in your Excel spreadsheet, this will help when you're highlighting certain information that you want your target audience to take notice of. So let's go into Excel and I'm going to show you how to use the formatting options to bold, italicize, and underline. As you can see, I've gone into Excel and I've created a sample spreadsheet with some random numbers. Let's say that I want to highlight the largest and smallest numbers in my spreadsheet so it'll be a little bit easier for my target audience to notice. To do this, I'm going to use the options to bold, italicize, and underline here in the font section within my home tab of my ribbon toolbar. If I go to the print preview and look at it before I make any changes, the number threes and the number 96s are a little bit more difficult to spot, but once I highlight, bold, and italicize them, they'll be a little easier to spot both on the screen and on paper. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to highlight all of the number threes located in row five. Once I have them highlighted, again, I'm in my home tab in my ribbon toolbar and under the font section, I'm given the options to bold, italicize, and underline. So if I click on the B to bold them, you can see that the numbers became a little darker and a little bit larger. When I italicize them, they're shifted a little bit to the right. And as far as underlining goes, I can click on the drop down and choose from either a single underline or a double underline. So I'm going to use the double underline so it'll be a little bit easier to spot. Now that I've done this, all of the number threes have been bolded, italicized, and they've been given a double underline underneath them. Now if I go to my print preview, you'll see that the number threes are a little bit easier to spot. Now let's do the same thing for the number 96s. Again, I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to highlight all of the number 96s here in row 10. Once this is done, again, I'm under my home tab and my ribbon toolbar and under the font section of Excel, I'm going to click on bold and italicize. And since I've already used the double underline, it's already available and I don't have to go to my drop down. So I'm just going to click on it one time. And now the number 96s have also been bolded, italicized, and they've been given a double underline underneath them. So now if I go to my print preview, you'll see that my smallest and largest numbers are a little bit easier to spot both on the screen and they'll be easier to spot on paper. So that's how you use the formatting options to bold, italicize, and underline. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.